This video is sponsored by Lingoda. No matter if you're learning German for your job or just for fun, Lingoda has the lessons that you need to reach your goals. Take live online lessons with native speakers whenever you want. Click the link in the description and get started learning German with Lingoda today. Hallo Deutsch Lerner! Today I'm going to expand upon what we learned last week about time telling in German to include some more complicated ways of telling time, but then I'm going to show you a bit about how to use these in sentences. This includes where to put the time element, as well as some new vocabulary about parts of the day. Let's start with the time telling things that I left out of the last video. In German you don't always have to give the precise minutes and hours of the day. You can split the hours into quarters and halves like you do in English. Unlike in English, however, the German phrase halb vier doesn't translate as half past four, but instead half until four. This is a bit disorienting at first, but it's quite simple once you understand it. Here are a few examples to get you acclimated to this idea. Halb sechs, 5.30, or half of six. Halb eins, 12.30, or half of one. Halb zehn, half of ten, or 9.30. A strange version of this would be to include vor or nach and a number of minutes, usually 5 or 10. This requires you to do a quick math problem in your head if you're an English native speaker. Fünf vor halb sieben, for example, would translate as 5 till half of 7. Halb sieben is 6.30, so fünf Minuten before that would be 6 Uhr 25. So fünf vor halb sieben is actually 6.25. Here are a few more examples of this complicated mess. Fünf vor halb neun, 8.25. Fünf nach halb vier, 3.35. Zehn vor halb elf, 10.20. Like in English, you can use quarter hours to say that it's 15 minutes before or after the hour. Simply use vor or nach, like we did in the examples from last week, and the word viertel, which is the German word for quarter. Viertel vor drei, 2.45. Viertel nach acht, 8.15. Viertel vor zehn, 9.45. Viertel nach fünf, 5.15. There are also two weird ways to use the word viertel. If you leave out the words vor or nach, you have a similar math question to that which will be used with halb. In these examples, the phrase becomes a quarter of the way towards a particular hour. For example, Viertel elf, 10.15, literally a quarter of 11. Viertel neun, 8.15, literally a quarter of nine. You can also use drei viertel, which is three quarters of the way to the next hour. This is by far the most confusing time expressions my students encounter. Here are a few examples of that. Drei viertel vier, 3.45, literally three quarters of four. Drei Viertel sieben, 6.45, literally three quarters of seven. Now that we have all of the time expressions out of the way, you can start classifying the times of the day into parts of the day. I mentioned this in the previous video that there is no obligatory AM or PM in German as there is in English. You can, however, classify the time of the day like this if you want. The words that you need are morgen, morgen, morning, mittag, Mittag, midday, Nachmittag, Nachmittag, afternoon, Abend, Abend, evening, and Nacht, Nacht, night. The only exception to that is Nacht, which requires you to switch to the phrase in der Nacht. Here are a few examples of how to use these expressions in a sentence. Es ist 10 Uhr am Morgen. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Es ist 12 Uhr am Mittag. It is 12 o'clock in midday. Es ist 2 Uhr am Nachmittag. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Es ist 6 Uhr am Abend. It is 6 o'clock in the evening. Es ist 10 Uhr in der Nacht. It is 10 o'clock at night. You can use these words without a preposition, that's what am and in are doing in the previous examples, if you use an s. If you use one of these words with an s at the end of it, it no longer is capitalized as it's technically no longer a noun. 
If you use it with a specific time of the day, the meaning doesn't change from the previous examples. Es ist 10 Uhr morgens. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Es ist 12 Uhr mittags. It is 12 o'clock in the midday. Es ist 2 Uhr nachmittags. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you use these versions without a specific time of the day, it becomes a generalization about that part of the day. These words indicate repeated actions during those times of the day. In both German and English, you can start your sentence with these words. If you do that in German, you need to move the subject to the other side of the verb. I think of it as having the subject and verb attached with a string. They have to be next to each other. So if the first spot is taken by something else, in this case the time element, the subject has to move to the other side. Unlike in English, however, you don't need a comma between the time and the verb. Morgens esse ich Brötchen mit Marmelade. Mornings I eat rolls with jam. Mittags fahre ich zur Uni. Middays I drive to the university. Nachmittags schlafe ich. Afternoons I sleep. Abends lese ich. Evenings I read. Nachts spiele ich Fortnite. Nights, I play Fortnite. You can use both of these options with the days of the week, too. You can use am to indicate a specific Monday or Tuesday or other day of the week, or you can use the days with an s at the end so that it indicates a reoccurring action. The same capitalization rules apply as before. If there's an s at the end of the word, it's not capitalized. Montags arbeite ich nicht gern. Mondays, I don't like to work. Am Dienstag schreibt er einen Brief. On Tuesday, he is writing a letter. Was magst du am Mittwoch? What are you doing on Wednesday? Wir suchen Donnerstags neue Bücher. We are looking Thursdays for new books. Am Freitag rede ich mit meinem Chef. On Friday, I am talking with my boss. Das Restaurant bietet Sonnabends Rinderbraten an. The restaurant offers roast beef on Saturdays. Ich besuche am Sonntag eine Kirche. I am attending a church on Sunday. If you didn't pick up on it in the previous sentences, when you use the time element behind the verb, it usually precedes the direct object. To show you more of these examples, I'll introduce you to some other time words that I haven't used yet. Ich esse heute Pizza. I am eating pizza today. Ich esse morgen eine Bratwurst. I am eating a bratwurst tomorrow. Wir sehen heute Abend einen Film. We are watching a film tonight. Bringst du morgen früh Kaffee? Are you bringing coffee tomorrow? Meine Kinder spielen diese Woche Fußball. My children are playing soccer this week. Meine Familie reist nächsten Monat nach Chicago. My family is traveling to Chicago next month. Mein Bruder trinkt jeden Tag zwei Liter Wasser. My brother drinks two liters of water every day. I think we've had enough example sentences for today, so your assignment is to take three of the words and phrases which I'm about to introduce you to and write three example sentences using them. I'll correct your sentences in the comments. In einer Woche. In a week. In einer Stunde, in an hour. In einem Jahr, in a year. In den Ferien, on vacation or during the break. Im Sommer, in the summer. Dieses Jahr, this year. Jede Woche, every week. Am Wochenende, on the weekend. Übermorgen, the day after tomorrow. Again, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Lingoda. They have lessons to fit whatever your needs may be. If you're learning German or even French, Spanish, or English for that matter, they have the lessons and materials that you need to be successful in your German learning goals. Click the link in the description and get started learning German with Lingoda today.